Hey, Orc. I have been having so many problems with OBS lately. I don't know why. Or, or not even OBS, just like general streaming tech problems, which, uh, that, that how it be, right? I'm just not used to that. I'm like, but I did a test, but the test worked. <laughs> I'll get, I'll get used to it. Um, but I've kept y'all waiting long enough. Let's, uh, let's get going. Your mic goes mute all the time and your camera brightness goes whack. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it seems to like my computer is just like uh, struggling to like recognize things lately, uh, like my USBs. So I'm wondering if there's like a loose cable somewhere and I have to just fiddle with it. Okay. So, let's go into space. I kind of like, I'm tempted to go back to the, the same world that we were on before and see if it's different or if it's the same stuff or like just see if I missed things. Or just like go somewhere else entirely. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent decided. I do want to take a look at my ship's log, because I logged a few things. That's a lot. That's a lot of information. Okay. Um. Uh, view entry. This island must be where uh, Nomai created statues like the one in our observatory. I found a Nomai statue lying on the beach. It looks just like the one in our observatory. The one and only Herthian village. Okay, yep, this is where I'm from. The broken remains of the Nomai space station in orbit around Giant's Deep. There's more to explore here. I'm glad that it really makes that obvious for me. So I guess we'll go back to that planet. Because... I have questions and they are unanswered. I did have, um, I, I assume it's a minor spoiler, um, when I was googling this game because I wanted to know how long I should expect to play it for, and I had a small spoiler there, so I'm gonna try to just like keep it out of my mind and just play, play the game as I normally would. Um, I think I would have pieced it together. Um, during this this play session anyways um, but it turned one question into a uh, into an answer I was a little I was pretty bummed out about it but you know what's on the moon you know what this seems like a nice small little thing to check. Or wait, is this just... No, this isn't where we're from. This is the moon. Don't crash, don't crash. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Oh no, go back down. Down, down, down. Oh, 
Oh my god, I can jump so far! <laughs> what are these? Is this like ice? It's so dark. Oh my god, moving around is so difficult. Is this another planet? <laughs> it's a funny noise. Okay, I knew I saw a light source. Play recording. Oh, okay. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outside outskirts of Dark Bramble. I'd post the Adel Rock. I'd, I'd poised the Adel Rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble lies now. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of this old planet, Dark Bramble, destroyed on other astral bodies in the system. I keep forgetting that there isn't uh, voice acting in this game. Alright, well I guess there's less in this crater than I was expecting, so maybe we'll go back out. Just because it's a little bit more difficult to uh, get out of there than I thought it might be. Oh, we just want to go down. We want to go down. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, that's cool. Blocking the light. Unverified signal nearby. Oh my god, oh my god. We're going. Ooh! That's so wacky. Esker's signal scope log. Day 48, still not picking up Rybex banjo fr uh, from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'd feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51, listen to chair play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell uh, Profi and Gosan, their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Day 55, banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rybex doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Day 63, today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know, it was probably nothing. Day 70, no, it's back again today. Uh, something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Day 76. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the to the sound of Tom Hearth sounds exactly like Felspar Harmonica, but Felspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. Day 88. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I'd better talk to... Janice? Alright, well, there was a. There are trees over there. And then there was a cottage I wanted to go to. Oh, yeah, here's the cottage. Oh, dude! 
Man, I just like flew over. Hi. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with the ground control. Horns fell and Gossen mostly, but they radio up to chat now and then. And when the ground control forgets them up here, they usually do. I launch my little scout at the village. They forget about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. Uh, at least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system. Outer Wilds and Outer Worlds confused the heck out of you when they were both released at the same time. Yeah, it confused me too. I almost bought the wrong game. <laughs> Let alone in our village. Uh, don't go. I mean, is there anything else you wanted to ask? What is this place? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Oh, the stars above. You're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Well, welcome to the Lunar Outpost. Which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our space farming technology has improved loads since then. But the older ships tend to, uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. Using the outpost to cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village. And also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here... Raising saplings from Tinder Hearth and keeping an eye on things. Talk to you later. Oh, no, geez. Man. The jump on this moon is wild. I also just, like, if I have too much momentum, I'll just go. Even if I'm not jumping, which is... I have to be careful about, because I keep flinging myself around. Alright, well, that was a neat stop. Um, how was, um, uh, Little Nightmares, Orc. Did you finish it? I don't know how long that game is. finished it. It was fun. That's awesome. I had no idea how long it was. Oh my god, is there something on the sun? Oh my god, it looks like there might be. We're gonna go back to Giant's Deep though, because I don't feel like I'm done exploring around here yet. weird trying to uh, catch up to these planets. Like, I think I'm chasing it in orbit right now. Now we're getting closer. Oh god! Whew. All 
All right, coming in fast. All right, this was the island that I went to originally. Oh God, oh God. All right, back up, back up. We're gonna wait. I don't want the island to fall on me. I don't know if I'm ever going to get the hang of this flying. It is tricky. Oh, there we go. All right. Out we go. I feel like I'm so much heavier now. Alright, so this statue workshop. I still really want to get in here, but I don't yet know how to. I'm glad to know that this is still here so that these islands aren't like totally randomly generated. So that's nice to know. I love these little gems. So let's see. What does this say? They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Block says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Block specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lami, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Box will let us um, see a test later. Interesting. Oh, I can! That's cool. I was wondering if I could send a scout down there. Okay. How do I get in, though? if I can, like, crouch or anything. Red lightning? That's cool. Hmm. How do I get in there? I know I've been in here before, but I want to know if there's any text that I missed, and there is. No, I feel- no, I have read this. Yep, I have read this. Led us to the workshop, and then we couldn't go any further. what that's about. Oh, 
Oh no, oh no! Don't. Do not die. Oh. I'm sorry. There's there's a health thing in here. Another look over here. I've got to get in this workshop. There's like nothing to pick up. I don't see any way to interact with this door. fine. Everything's fine. Is... Oh, we're going up. Uh... Oh. Oh, please. Please send me back down. Uh, there we go. I will wait here. This game is wild. Get it? Because it's outer wilds. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think of it when I when it came out of my mouth and I was like, oh, I did it. I did it, didn't I? There's a lot of skeletons up here. But how do we get in the workshop? There's so much to do down there. And they really tease it with this uh this this uh skylight. need to go somewhere else on this planet. To work out how to get in there. Or I wonder, that'd be wild if there was like, I keep saying wild, now I'm thinking about it. Um, it'd be really interesting if there is a uh, entrance underneath like when the planet like, changes its gravity. That would surprise me, though. Just because I think that would be difficult to do as the player. It'd be weird to expect that. The music's nice. actually been to this one. I think I tried once, but it was like clipped into the other uh into the other thing. Hmm, I do remember this. Okay. Is 
is it just in here? Oh my god, it's dark. What about... There we go. All right. I suppose let's go straight back there. See what we can find on that other little island. Where's the sun at? Oh, hey, you're right there. That was a full crash. Oh, but we haven't been to this island before. Can I just go underwater? Is this something that I just didn't... Whoa. I didn't realize that I could just go underwater. Oh, thud. All right. Haven't been here before. Unidentified signal nearby. Hi. Uh, nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly? I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately, or is it just me? No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, a time loop makes sense. Cool. So that's what I found out when I was looking up the length of this game so that that's the bit that i was spoiled on for a minute um so I'm, I'm glad that they flat out told me pretty soon after i learned that because i was like i was quite annoyed um because obviously there's a difference between like how long a loop is in this game and how long the average player will play it for so i i was very salty Um, so I'm, I'm really glad that they told me this right now. That that's makes me feel a little better. Uh, what did you? You're, you're taking this pretty well. You, what did you think it was? I figured it'd be some kind of fidgety time business, but I wasn't really thinking about what's happening to the shape of time, you know. But a loop makes sense here. It's let's just go with loop for now. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfells and asked if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remember by the next one. They, didn't, they don't even realize anything's different. 
And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all of my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to this big stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. I was looking at it and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like I'd seen them through my own eyes, just like what happens each time I die. That's what happened to me when I uh, looked at the statue at the museum. You too, huh? The Nomai statues must have... <laughs> down. That's funny, it won't let me talk to him. When we're both floating. <laughs> Have you ever watched a cyclone for so long it started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you, they'll put you in a trance if you stare at them long enough. How's space treating you? Where should I explore on Giant's Deep? Uh, here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky at the start of every loop. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. What else? What else? Have you been to Statue Island? Um, that's what I've been calling it. Seeing as it's where the island where I found the glowing Nomi statue. Get it? I was on the beach. Um, on Statue Island when the glowy business happened, by the way. It was a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gavro relaxation scale. If you ever feel like checking out, the stat checking, out checking out Statue Island, it's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Yep. Where's your ship? That's a good question. It's definitely on this planet somewhere. I mean, unless a cyclone came by and tossed it into space, I guess. That would be pretty nuts. I hope it's not lonely. Anything else? I found something. Actually, never mind. <laughs> I was like, what did we find? What could be so exciting? I guess we'll come back talk to him later. This is where we can't go. What's up here? roast a marshmallow. Yes, perfect. Oh, I miss roasting marshmallows. I miss going camping. But we already got this signal. Maybe, or maybe, you know what? This is a different island than this one. Uh, than the other one. I don't know if we can go through here. No. Alright, so we, we did this island. I remember this one. That's where I went the second time. I really want to get in this workshop, but I just don't know how to yet. Let's try going under. 
Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Oh. That'll that'll do. <laughs> I'm glad I was right about that suspicion. That's nice. I wonder if this music plays at like the 10 minute interval or something so like you know how much longer you have once you get somewhere. Yaro, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in its closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue has paired with Daz. Now, uh, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to Ash Twin Project. This is extraordinary sculpting work. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will hold the signals Nomi memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the responding um, Nomi. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project box. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds, otherwise I imagine the experience will be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Interesting. Um, what happens if I put it in this other one? What did that do? Hmm. Not sure. Oh, this is that entrance door. Sweet. Well, that was cool. I know there's more to do on this planet. Let's take a look at the log. Okay, so we still have a lot to do with the probe. Every recorded memory by Nomi statue is transmitted. Okay, so we just don't... We're missing some pieces there.
Let's go up to that satellite. This thing is just floating up out of the sky is so crazy to me. There they are. It's a little tricky, gotta say. Oh! Come on. I need to use the match velocity more. That that is super helpful. like the only way that you can kind of like inch in velocity matched hell yeah all right let's go back in times have I flown into the sun so far? Not yet. Let's check out the control module. I'd started to go in here on my last day playing. proud of me. <laughs> I've just been staying very far away. Um, I, I will definitely fly into the sun soon because I saw like an arch on it and I want to check it out. Um, so I've, I've done all of this before but it, it said I had some like unfinished stuff here. I still don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. Reminds me of the witness dragging those around. That just took me the same. Okay. Probably because I did it twice. So... This is where the end. No? There we go. 
easy to get lost in these. Alright, what was this one? Made, also made you think of the witness. Launch module. I remember these other ones were blocked. Yeah. Probe tracking module. But this one's also gone. But this one I can just kind of leave. Starting to want to go to a new planet. Which I know I don't have much time for. Are those like weird blue things? This looks like the launching. What is this? This has me curious. Unless that's just our home planet, I don't think it is. can't even highlight it. I don't know what it is. Can we even get close to it? I don't even know if I can land on this. Can I? I guess so. I guess not. Never mind. We're in space. Let me back in! Huh. Well, 
that's interesting. Telescope thing. Looks like that's another one. You can land on anything if you try hard enough, even the sun. Well, I've only got like a minute or two. Maybe less. Oh. So, I guess we're stuck in this time loop because we need to stop the sun from going into a supernova? Is that what I'm... am I picking that up correctly? That's my guess. We know we're in this like 20 minute time loop. <laughs> Dead. Oh, I'm glad that you can use all of the emotes. I, I didn't know if it was just the just the one for you, KY. All right. And away we go. I want to go to a new planet. I want to check out something new. Yeah, it is. Also, I really like that this gives me an indicator um, as to if there's something left to do on an island or not. That's I really appreciate that. Yeah, like, I know there's more to do here, but I haven't quite figured it out yet. I did get into the... Um, workshop um, all right so I want to find brittle hollow I haven't been there yet. You map. No? You map? That's a cool map. I like this map. Have I died to anything other than the supernova so far? Um... No, I've taken a lot of fall damage. <laughs> but I don't think I've died to anything else. Let's take a look around. That's obviously where we're going. Oh, hey, there's a whole other ship here. It's parked right next to them. I've only crashed the ship, like, once. Um, when I tried to... Uh, I came in too fast to, to that planet. And just went straight into the water. But even then, like, I didn't... Nothing, nothing went wrong. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, uh, in the in that ship that went down, I didn't sustain bodily harm, a few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Felspar would definitely have laughed at me. I bet. That's the good news. The bad news. Uh, I haven't found a, figured out a way inside this structure yet. The door is broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think. I would have found a different in, uh, entrance by now if there were one, probably. I can't get inside from here, 
but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try to find a way down. Okay. I guess we're gonna do that too. Yeah, because the other door was like this. You have to open it from the inside. So I guess he's inside so I can't like go into his ship and talk to him. Oh. Let's fly. Save some time. Maybe. These look like ruins. It'll do. That's just a table. Still don't know what these do. I'm gonna leave it there though. Maybe if like all of them are placed, it'll do something different. Or maybe if I put it here. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. That's exciting. You're almost ready. But there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. My gratitude for the directions. I'll see you soon. Alright, so that was opposite side of Brittle Hollows, just opposite from here. So let's go down here, I'm curious what this is all about. I assume that's an elevator. Which we will take. Or maybe it's just an up elevator. That's a bummer. The crossroads. Southern Observatory. Oh, interesting. It's like a choose your... Oh, it's two ways. This is neat. I like this. Oh 
Where am I? Oh my god, that hurts my ear. Ship? Ship? Oh my god. That's like such a deep rumble. Do I, do I just go back into it? Riddle Hollow is your favorite planet. I can see why. It's very cool. It doesn't look like I can go back into it. My ship is so far away. It's called sub bass when it's painfully low pitched. Oh. Oh, there you go. Death count one. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was, that was, I almost had to take my headphones off. Um, like, it's, my headphones aren't even on that loud. It was just such a low pitch. <sighs> Alright. Well. Okay, why well, you'll get a kick out of this. Um, uh, so I've been playing Hades on stream a little bit, and um, I haven't disabled the death counter, and it is gonna inflate so much. <laughs> very, ti very rare timing to be dumped um, off so close to the interloper. Very memorable first non-time death. Gotta run. Have a good rest of your day. Good luck. Thanks for stopping in. forget if I can um where was the there was like a map there we go so Burr Hollow is pretty close checking out this game and it oh it's right here this game is is nuts absolutely wild place to land? What about up here? How are you doing today, Loof? Have you recovered from your 24-hour stream? I'm sure that put you, at, put you down for a couple days. Oh, am I stuck in a tree?
Yeah, that'll work. Your planning paid off. Almost reset already, that's great to hear. Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have you heard from escape pod 2 or 3? No, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other other two escape pod distress signals, however. If there's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can. Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of the falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down the cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms? Yeah, I'm not sure what it would take to get me to do a 24-hour stream, but I'm st I'm still not sure if I would attempt it. <laughs> I don't think I could talk for that long. I have trouble talking just for a few hours. I guess I'm just not used to this yet. That was horrifying. Alright. What is in here? Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Oh, whoops. Adequate solar energy detected. Hospitable. Alert, collision Im imminent. In imminent. There we go. Launching escape pod. Uh, escape pod 1 vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Whoa! <laughs> it just took the door off. Alright. Oh, no. Hey, orc. Oh, no, you were here. You were here earlier. I'm just remembering. Yeah, you were here. Nah, all good, all good. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than we've uh, found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. I don't know how the <laughs> this started between you two, but I love it. I just want you I want you both to know that. Given concerns about our settlement stability, where should we construct a new less temporary shelter? We need to stay close to the escape pods. So Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if they if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because Eyes Signal called us, uh, and we followed. If we were to find it, we would uh, we would need to not merely survive but thrive. 
started off with Luffy requesting you call him a flirty name and the rest is history. <laughs> uh, missed what I said. Oh, I just said that um, I, I, like, I don't know how this like uh, playful name calling started between you two, but I love to see it. This is a wise point, Plume, and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we should do. I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. What if uh, we use gravity crystals to craft a, stone, a path? Uh, building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic eruptions. Alright. Just like to build people up. Especially a man like Org. No, I feel you. I'm in the same boat. This is the game that's a time loop, right? Yeah, we just figured that out. Um, so there's like a 20-minute cycle that we've been on. Um, this knowledge is too uh, too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal is older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No Nomai clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. Interesting. Yeah, so what I've gathered so far is that every 20 minutes there is a supernova, um, and that resets the game, and we die and and start over. Um, so I'm my guess is that we need to somehow stop it. How we stop a supernova, I don't know yet, but see me getting closer. Also, this like black hole in the middle of this planet is awesome. Can we go down here? My brother wasn't in Escape Pod 1 with us. Was he in Pod 2 or 3? Was he able to board an escape pod at all. We sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot and will not allow our clan's greatest loss to be in vain. Ooh, I didn't even realize I was getting low on oxygen. It hasn't been a problem yet. I feel like such a klutzy person when I'm trying to walk around. Let's see if I can get down here. Ooh, do, 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 do. All right. Don't go into the black hole. No. Oh god. Oh please don't. Uh. <laughs> oh god, we have to get to the crystals. Okay, alright. Try again. Oh, okay, I landed. Alright. So this is what I went into before, and it 
plopped me into the black hole somehow. Hey Kim! Welcome in. Oh, you landed. That's great. Good job, you. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here for a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes, ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, you've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anyone else that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. I tripped over a gravity crystal and it's dumb luck I landed right where my little scout says is halfway stable, instead of being sucked into what's below. Hey man, this, that's, that's exactly what happened to us. That's how we got here. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place that with the best surface integrity, so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. How did you come all this way uh, to listen to me blather, did you? Um, let's try... I've learned something. Cool. All right, so now I actually know some stuff. Wow, so Noma I have probably come uh, came here from somewhere outside the solar system, and they must have been in trouble when they landed in their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. Where should I explore? Oh wow, where shouldn't you explore? Um, not the black hole, actually. That's a very no. Which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the hanging city. It's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Exer Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface, but trust me, I tried. Uh, but if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it, if it's not too much trouble. I think I learned something else too, yeah. Saw the old settlement. Isn't it amazing? It's hard to believe the settlement is still standing, but it's there. It really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timber Hearth. You know, somewhere that isn't constantly being bombarded with meteors and rocks and stuff. I'm an archaeologist. The archaeologist, I guess. Seeing all of Timber Hearth's, um, seeing as I'm all that Timber Hearth's got right now. Birder Hollow is rich and know my history. That's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about Birder Hollow, know my, I'm your Herpian. Or, um, I have some knowledge of them. I mean, maybe I can help. See you later. Oh, that's nice. Where is the city? That's so weird. Oh, is this where I was? No, never mind.
I appreciate that little indicator of where to go. The Hanging City. I have to be really careful of my, uh... Walking. What happens if I send the scout into the uh, black hole, I wonder? I really don't want to fall. Whoops. Eh, go back. Yeah, there it goes. Oh wow, it just came all the way back around! Did I really, like, just get it into orbit? <laughs> it got picked up by the by the thingy. School district. Meltwater district. I Shrine District, Black Hole Forge District. So we, the I Shrine District we're very curious about, which looks like this. Ooh, I landed a bit harder than I meant to. Maybe, maybe the level I was on was the I Shrine District. That's okay. This game is very cool. I do want to say that. Um, I was a little skeptical at first, um, just because, like, any time, like, a whole bunch of people are saying the same thing about a game, I'm like, like, I expect it'll be good, but it makes me nervous. I don't know, because, like, I want to, I want to like it. Alright, we can't go that way. Um, but this game definitely seems like one that is very unique. I don't feel like I've played a game that does things like this before. And that's kind of rare these days, you know? Oh, can I not go down here? I thought I could get through it. It instinct killed me. I thought that it would like hurt me a little bit and I could just run through. Oh.
And... I don't know, this, maybe this is my fourth? Fourth or fifth now? Fourth, fourth or fifth go? I should probably talk to some of the people here and be like, what the fuck is going on? But also, I'm kind of eager to get back out there. So, I'm gonna go. Maybe in the next one. Let's check my computer. Log some new stuff. Whew. I definitely want to go back to Brittle Hollow. I'm not done there yet. Don't hit me. So we landed there. We landed at the observatory and we couldn't go in. We went to the ruin area, which is this area. I think we landed here? No, maybe not here. There's a similar place. Let's land here. This seems different. Nothing written on the walls here. Oh, it's so freaky. The Hanging City. To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Uh, our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as we, we've built works, I, then I'm delighted. I know we could do it. Uh, Kazavana, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would um, they would violate casualty. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to Whitehole Station. If you and Root would meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Please don't tell Casaba. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oops. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower. Although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. That's interesting. Nothing here to put. I do kind of want to take the scroll with me because I feel like I'm going to need this. Also... Can we go down here? No, it's just an up. Oh!
Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis, could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. I'm invested in your playful moon. Is it... But, yeah, it is much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern. This moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend, Hollow's Lantern, for nights at a time. The nights in the moon... Or, the nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. And I imagine there'd be none of us left. Hypothesis, there can exist too, uh, <laughs> there can exist too much lava. I'd strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. Well, this takes us kind of back to where we were if we can land on this platform. Oh, God. Alright. Harder fall than I thought, but we're alive. Okay, so this is the level I want to be on. I want to know more about... Blackhole Forge controls? What? Oh, I'm so glad I brought this thing. Insert scroll. Oh, maybe this just says the same thing. Dave is reading! Hello, Dave! Thank you so much for the raid! Let me... Do a quick shout out. Playing some Dark Souls? How's that going? Hey, C Leb. Leb does stuff. Do you prefer like C or Leb? Let me know. The Astron project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? You're loving it. Sea Lab is good? Sounds good. That does the same one, too. Okay. I think I'm starting to understand how, how these scrolls work. Oh, there's a third one. He's doing well, that's good. Solution two, we could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. I would very much like to craft a powerful core. Uh, more relevantly, I believe Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. This is the safest path for our clan. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design for such a powerful core or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Pope was um, apprenticed to Nona, who created the original design, and our Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. How's Outer Wilds going? Um, 
I, I am very interested in this world. You've seen the game before, right? Because I, I've learned sort of like the basics of what's going on and I have an idea of what I need to do. Uh, which is very different from when I played this for the first time. I left my first, uh, my first play having no idea. Yeah, it's very cool. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and it's causing means losing valuable knowledge. You've played Outer Worlds, we think that's very different. Yeah, it's a different game. I got them mixed up too. I almost bought the wrong game when I was like, oh, I, I need to play Outer Wilds. This is true, however. It's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn, I think. It is, a safe, is the safest path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Is it though? We've tried it for so long. To, we've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is futile, we should choose the option with the least potential harm. Very interesting. So I get I get the idea that we need to find this eye. And I don't think we have very much time left. scroll we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel this would require a pattern uh, require a return to dark bramble bloom my father said many good I know my parish there. My mentor, Collis, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. I remember that anglerfish fossil. We used to play in Fossil Fish Cove uh, when we were children. What Melrun and I have learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. The vessel's warp core is broken at best. Uh, crash said, there's no guaranteed reward for its risk. I'm trying to be a little quick. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was a little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Even if it is, even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint provided we are able to transport it back here. Okay. I'm just worried that I'm gonna get timed out soon. So we'll see how far we get. I wanna go down here, I'm very curious. Black hole forge controls. this do? Ah! The further I get, the more questions I have. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't know what that does. Timed out? Yeah, so, um, uh, every about 20 or 30 minutes, um, the game resets. Ah, uh, there's a supernova. I went down there, so I've gone over there. I'd love to go up, but I'm not sure how to. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, so like you retain all the knowledge that you have every time you go back and there's there's like lore reason for it but 
Um, it's it's very very unique. It's a little hard to talk about sometimes because I'm just like trying to piece everything together and. Oh, oh wow. Okay. I just changed my orientation. So now we're going up. Oh, maybe I just didn't realize, because I feel like this is where we started, right? Yeah. So we can just walk up the side of this thing. That's very cool. Almost. Except for when we get here. Alright, I wonder if this other one has the same thing. It does. Can we go up on this one? No! This might be a different level. This gets so disorienting. I gotta say. I never know where I am. I want to get over there. That's where I want to be. But I also don't want to fall. This is where we started, yes. Alright, I suppose we'll go further down. I was starting to explore this area, and that's when I last reset. I was going to this like school district thing. Whoops. Yeah, so let's go check check out around here. Right, because I couldn't go through there because of the I forget what it's called. Harvey, do you want to go out, buddy? Oh, he does. That's so cool. Three minutes of oxygen remaining? Oh, thank god. <laughs> what good timing. Alright, alright, I'm coming, buddy. I'm gonna let the kitty cat out. All right, back to it. Yeah, the ghost matter. Haven't been here before. Explanation of festivals. 
all know my clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. Don't forget, festivals happen every 10 years. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all Nomai get to advance too, like Anona's warp core, which made it so everyone can warp long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. We can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go. A single festival could last a long, long time. of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense, tightly packed together. At this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, the particles were able to group together and form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for a long time without your brain hurting. This universe will keep getting colder and long larger until one day the stars and the life they support will all die. That's scary to think about, even though uh, Con uh, Kanoi tells, tells me it won't happen in our lifetime, but it'll happen in someone else's someday. Hmm. Interesting. I've been getting very lucky with my oxygen. I haven't suffocated yet, despite how much I've been wandering around. There's just like enough trees placed. No, 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 no. Oh. I think we're going in. Oh. Maybe. Can I get over to this? Yeah. Yeah. Of quantum knowledge. Now we've already talked to this guy, but may as well refuel. Let's try this again. Getting late, gonna head out. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for stopping in. Cool, this time I landed on something and didn't go straight into the black hole, so that is good. There we go. Alright, this is where I was trying to get to. How nice. Be welcome in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Are you making your first pilgrimage to a quantum moon? Ascend these, stair Ascend these stairs and obtain the last of your knowledge you'll need for your journey. Ooh. But we can't do it. Uh, Cause I can't go up that high. Oh, I'm so glad that didn't kill me. It's definitely gonna be close. Oh, but is this an elevator? I'll take an elevator. Up we go! This game's so cool. Entrance to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Southern Observatory. 
I definitely want to go into the sun, um, uh, observatory. Oh, hey, Pyro! I didn't see your message there. Yeah, this game is cool. This game is really cool. I was a little skeptical at first. I don't have a good reason for that. But, um... I'm, I'm getting- I'm into it. You're sneaky. Alright, we're back outside now. This is the opposite of what I just read. Did you stream today, Pyro? The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire plant, roots and all. This is not normal. Even for this alien planet. I've never seen them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Oh, what? Oh. I'm not sure how I fell. Oh, interesting. I think I'm getting it. I think... I think I'm starting to get it. Can I- can I go to this? I'm so dead. You take Sundays and Mondays off for D&D. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that sounds familiar. I am pushing the wrong button, which is not gonna help me get closer to this. too fast. Oh god. This is so difficult. Ah! That surprised me. Oh, I really want to get into that observatory. Yeah, I guess so. lucky in a time loop because otherwise I'd be super dead and you're lucky I have grounded I don't have you grounded for medical reasons because I have no idea what you're talking about away we go once again I still want to go back to Brittle Hollow because that is a cool planet and I'm not done with it yet Oh, I'm uncovering so many things that I don't know what they mean. I'm like, I'm stringing bits and pieces together, but... What I think is very cool about this game is that... You can go anywhere at any time because of the nature of the 20 minute cycle, right? Um, so... Uh,
the only thing that changes is my knowledge of the world and of the universe. And I think that's very cool. Also, what I'm what I'm figuring out is that when I spend a lot of time on this uh, on this planet, it's uh, falling apart. So, like we we see the stuff crashing into it and things, and we see the bits of land shrinking. But by the end, it's a totally different looking place. Is this where we want to land? I'm not even sure if this is where we want to land. Yeah, let's land here. I was starting to make some headway on where to go. Um, am I directly affecting the planet? Not really, because everything resets, right? So, like, it doesn't really matter what I do, everything just resets anyways. Um, oh, I have to sneeze. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, so because everything resets, I'm not changing anything. Um, at least not yet. But I'm learning stuff and I take the knowledge with me. It stays in my log. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Yeah, so yeah, the planet was already falling apart. And it's just repeatedly falling apart in this 20, 10 minute cycle. 15 minute, 20 minute cycle, however long it is. That's cool, but I don't know what this is. Oh, what? Can I get up there? Man, every time I come to this planet, I find something totally new. Southern Observatory. I really want to go there, but I also really want to go in the shuttle. <laughs> Did I just launch the shuttle? probably did. What? What? I don't know what that was. I am here. After watching it, I wander the skies for so long. I am about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why Quantum Moon always welcomes its visitors at the South Pole, just that it is true. As a child, I considered such unknowns sinister. Now, though I understand they will bear no ill will, the universe is and we are. I am ready. Is that just like a tiny black hole up there? Huh. 
Okay. I really want to go to the observatory, so let's go there next. What is this, right? The crossroads. Where was the observatory? Is that here? I should stop wasting my fuel. Observatory! I love these portals. They're so cool. Let's do it. We've taken that other one before. Oh, I guess that's how I fell before, because they weren't lined up properly. Like this one. Alright, well then how do I go where I want to go? What's over there? It's down there. Harvesting gravitational energy for travel, super cool. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh, god damn it. Alright. Just have to land on this. Ooh, all right, cool. tricky. Okay. It really does just feel like, uh, the witness. Hey, my oxygen's refilled. Sweet. This is new. Ooh. Welcome to the white hole station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is turned to a specific astral body. The tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brittle Hollow. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignments happen when the astral body is directly overhead. Getcha. Yeah, this is so cool. Um, can I put this anywhere? Can I use this? I guess I just want to hold on to it for now. Oh! I didn't even realize I was, uh... controlling that. I'm not sure what that did. What happens if I pull it over here? Hmm. 
I don't know what that does. Oh! Hey, it worked. Okay, cool. So that's what that does. Now I know. Uh, warp status charged. Step into the warper to receive receiver platform to activate return warp. Very cool. Oh, is this fuel? Hell yeah. Uh, and we've been here. Yeah. But I bet there's gonna be a cool place to put this. Projection stone. Robbie and I have received the records you've sent, Poke or Poke? And they appear to show Nomaya are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hole station. As I've already told Rami, these measurements can't be accurate. How could a Nomaya arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she has ever stepped foot onto the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Poke as Pi is uh, confident the reading is accurate, is inaccurate. She kind, uh, she's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the high energy lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update. Poke, the high energy lab is in the canyon on Ember Twin Equator. Ember Twins Equator, come here at once. You need to see this. As I understand, it's exceedingly odd, but Carly and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time anyone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundredth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? I don't disagree. It, uh, it would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to uh, have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. That's interesting that there's a bit of time travel with those portals. Yeah, it's... I was wondering, because it does... It does have my departure time and my arrival time. That's one second off. It's one second earlier. Now the question is, how do I get back inside the planet? Yeah, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Back here. At least I know where to get from here. I wish I could fix these and make sure, like, they're going in the right direction. What? Whoa, whoa! I just fell straight out of it. That's not fair. Try that again. Guess I should make sure my air. Proximity to the gravitational force of a black hole causes time dilation. 
um, as does faster than light travel. That's a good point. I hadn't really thought about that. Um, I don't totally understand how that works, but I did watch Interstellar. So I know that it does happen. <laughs> Black holes are, are crazy, man. Read this. We're trying to get up there. We use the elevator. Ugh. That is that was the extent of your knowledge. <laughs> no, but it was a, it was a good point because um, that is that is true. Harvey, you want back in now? I'm gonna go let the kitty cat back yeah. in. You should know by now that if uh, if I have to get up while I'm streaming to let him in or out, he makes a he makes garlic. Hello, thank you so much for the raid. You're here just in time for cat cam. <laughs> Harvey's not happy about it. <laughs> Aw, bud. You want you want to go back to your tower? Go back to bed. Yeah. What a good cat. Even if he makes me get up all the time to let him in and out. Hey, book club. How was the rest of your, uh, your drawing stream? Okay, so we just came back up. I want to get in there. You found out tonight how talented Garlic is? Garlic is so talented. I love the Hades fan art. It's so good. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Rated and ran to not have spoilers. Y yeah, good point. Uh, we were talking earlier about how uh, they wanted to watch, but they didn't want spoilers. That is all good. All right, we've been up here. I remember all. Of, I remember this, and we want to go down. I want to get back in. So, Mark, I know a little bit more about this game now. I'm not quite as confused as I was earlier today. Uh, but I have a lot more questions. Ah, I keep doing that. Um, oh, wonderful. <laughs> But how? What's wrong, buddy? Harvey's meowing. Entrance to the Tower of Knowledge. So maybe I have to go back down? Yeah, so this is where I was, and I want to get up there, but I can't. I 
I am wondering if if I go straight here, if I just like waste no time, um, if that platform will be there. Cause maybe I'm just like too late and like everything is just sinking into this black hole. And if I come back, maybe this will be fixed. But I feel like I, I tried to get here really quickly last time, so I don't know. I kinda wanna get over to my ship. Cause I could just like fly up there in my ship. Potentially. I don't even know how the best way to get to my ship is. Oh. Here we go. Alright, so that confirms my theory that I hit a rock. That confirms my theory that everything is uh, falling. Oh, I wish I could see a little bit better. I would try to go to it now while everything's up in the air. Is that it? That looks like a big tower. Since I don't die, we're good. Yes, this is exactly where I want to be. Uh, uh, uh. This is so hard. Okay. Ooh. Please take me to somewhat solid ground. Nope. Okay. <laughs> not solid whatsoever, but I can go up. Or am I going down? No one knows. The enemy's base is always down. So you have 20 minutes to do what you need to do before the black hole just eats you. Um, not the black hole, the sun. Um, let me see if I can... I don't know if you'll be able to see it from where I am, but there's just like a sun in the center of this little universe, this little galaxy. Oh, this is where I want to be. That's empty. What's this? Yeah, from what I've gathered so far, the black hole is independent of it, maybe? Welcome, Solon. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep and are ready to depart from the, for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you. Uh, just as it... Oh my god, I just need to stay still. Go down. I can't read it! <laughs> Fuck! Um, it'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built, the Quantum Moon. But remember this final rule to explore the sixth location. The shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Curious on your journey. Be aided in your pilgrimage. Quantum moon. I haven't been there yet. To the moon's sixth and most secret location. Alright. Yeah, this the music in this game is very good.
Alright, well, cool. Yeah, there you go. I am really glad that I went into this game totally, totally blind to it. Um, Very cool. It's weird. At first, I didn't really like the reset. But now I'm kind of seeing where the game is going with it. So I, I think it's much more interesting than at first. I think it's time to go to the quantum moon. Man, there's a lot that I haven't explored yet. I do really like these indicators of there's more to see here. Um, can I open up the map, please? Map mode. a little bit Majora's Mask, but instead of um, you lose, it's a keep going, there's more to learn. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I interpret it as well. It's like, okay, you have the next puzzle piece. By the time you've seen everything and you have been everywhere, um, you'll have all the pieces and you can put it together in those 20 minutes. Um... Hourglass Twins. I am curious to go there. <laughs> am I crazy that I just wasn't seeing this quantum moon? Maybe that's it? I don't even feel like it's showing up on my, uh, my radar. Check out the Ash Twins. I don't know anything about them. Hey, Lou. Lurking, doing dishes. Nice to be here. It's nice to have you here. I'm sorry that you have to do dishes. Dishes are the worst.
weird looking. Oh my god, landing is so difficult. Ugh. Ugh. I hope we're landed. Please stay. Like, what is this? Yeah, right? This is so weird. Oh, whoops. Outer Wilds motto. Yeah, I'm getting that. Oh, and this is one of those warp thingies. Okay. Yeah, the sand pouring from one to the other. I thought it was going to be another, like, teleporter thing. Note the store will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running in running an experiment based on the extraordinary findings from the White Hole Station. An update. The High Energy Lab is now being used to design Ash Twin Project. If you're here to help or even just to observe, be sure to use the Sunless City path to the lab. Rami and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So although it's inconvenient, the lab is currently the currently can only be accessed by the path from the Sunless City. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could have enormous consequences. We realize this is an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. I'm getting too bold with that. Sunless City. Crash Site Caves. What? Oh my god. Well, that was sheer luck. Oh, but I can't go through here. I don't want to insta die. Alright, I guess we'll go this way. There must be a way to get through that, but I don't know what it is yet. Fill your air supply and then return quickly. This passage leads to breathable air. Refill your supply tank here. We cannot tell how far or deep these tunnels may wind, but do not linger as this area is exposed to the heat of the alien sun. found an enormous cavern at the end of the, this passage that appears promising. I believe we could construct a long-term shelter there. The cavern Mel Melore found uh, is a wise choice for the shelter. Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? This is the start of the path to the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. 
Of note, we must hurry, as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand. And make sure no one is lost. Oh, what? I couldn't go through the sand. Alright, well, it's good to know that I can't go through the sand. Ooh, down we go. The path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. To reach the shelter, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formations and climb upward through the opening above them. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious and swift. Uh, to the column of sand, turn left. Go the wrong way. All right, go back to those columns. And then it said go up, but I didn't see anything. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Just smash into the ceiling. Be cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The bridge Melrose and I crafted uh, Mel Melro? Melray? Uh, we'll do its job, but it isn't strong. Once on the far side, look for a tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it, and you'll reach the shelter site. This is cool, I like this. You're doing well. There's only a little further left to go now until you reach the shelter site. Man, they really hid this shelter. Uh, you can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Did they tell me where to go? Am I supposed to go up? I assume I go up. amazing look inside the cave how did this come to rest here we haven't encountered others in these caves I think it's a rare find from what I can see Colas and I believe the specimen must be uh, very old indeed imagine what we might learn if we could examine it we both agree it's unlikely this dry planet um, is this horrors place of origin especially considering what we observed during the vessels evacuation Clearly, this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis. If there is another entrance to this cave, if there is, Collis and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. An update. We need to find another way inside quickly. Uh, 
Because uh, I, I returned here to find, for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. Horror? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, what's, what is this? Oh! They were talking about, uh... Um... Uh... Anglerfish, at one point. I wanna... Can I go down there? I wanna read what that text says. Yeah, it is a big fish. I wish I could get the translation. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Oh no! Hey there, welcome back. Um, yeah, we are learning a lot. Oh my god, we need this air though. Let's go here first. So, what I've gathered, um, what I've gathered is, I mean, I've been playing for like two hours. Um, but I figured out that the the world is or the universe is on a or at least I am on a 20 minute timer uh, and then the world resets um, and we're trying to stop the super, supernova from destroying everything should we build the sun station to power the ash twins project I almost can't comprehend this is being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. If we fail and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of the star system. I wish to protect these species. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try, I believe. If we are curious, the sun station will work. If we are cautious, uh, I believe in pie. Folk, I am deeply honored. Um, idea, I, compre I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. What other ways to generate this level of power? Are there other ways? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. Unsurprisingly, Idina, I disagree. We are pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the defining characteristic of our species. Yeah, but how are you doing, Cronarch? What does this say? Three Anglerfish Overlook District. Sleeping Stone District. High energy lab trailhead. Oh, the the sand. Oh shit. Fuck. All right. Wait, no, what did that say on the lower level? I'm screwed. Oh no. Alright, let's just put me here. 
I'm gonna get squished by sand. Can't go that way. Time to get the fuck out. Yeah. This is such a cool game. Gravity cannon. Oh no. Oh no. Can I even walk through here? Sand is a beach. <laughs> Alright, well, I uh, made it out. It wasn't as safe as they led me to leave. Now, something I wonder that I haven't tested yet is if, uh, if I come back here after the world resets... I'm not sure if um, those doors will stay open, or if I do I have to go through the whole maze again? I mean, I guess it'll go faster the next time, but still. planet sometimes and only sometimes has a moon. This is also of note, it disappears if no one is watching it. Isn't that a fascinating orb, uh, orbital characteristic? Sun looks big. Yeah, we're really close to it. Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of microscopic macroscopic quantum mechanics. I agree. Our first step would be determining a method to track this phenomenon, uh, phantom moon so that we can always know where it is. So I guess that's why I couldn't find it on the map. I found your note. Uh, kindly count me among this moon's admirers. Uh, what, ha what is happening when it disappears? I doubt it ceases to exist. Does it move to another location? I believe so. Not only does the moon appear around Brittle Hollow, I can confirm it sometimes orbits Timber Hearth as well. Interesting. It only exists when we look at it. Yeah, yeah I know about the moon now. Did I do that? go there. I want to check that out. Where's my ship? I think it's time to go back to the ship and try flying around a little. Oh. Almost. It's crazy that the sand just filled up everything. So if you're curious what we've looked at, this will give you a rough idea. Um. I 
just want to go over to this other moon. This other twin. Oh, it's fine, everything's fine. Let's land on this thing. Do, you think, do I think they went ahead and built the sun station? I don't know. Um, there is a, a little observatory thing on the sun. That would make sense if, like, the reason why everything is going to shit is because the sun station malfunctioned. Oh, this is so disorienting. Alright, let's go down. Glad I don't melt. That's nice. Aw, oh, sorry, bud. Uh, another teleporter. And is this another one? They were saying it was a big risk. Yeah, they said it would potentially destroy the, uh, everything as we know it. Oh. Oh, I love doors. Yeah, don't tell us if we're right, but that's the theory I'm working with. Where is this supposed to go to? This station? Is this powered on? It sure is. Where are we now? We're back on Timber Hearth. Home in time for the end. <laughs> I like, I still want to look around. Does this also go there? Let's see if, if it'll warp me before, before the time comes. gonna come straight here next. Oh, it fell. Oh. Arc, hello. 
This game is really good at making you feel small on a cosmic stickale. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I'm really digging it though. Oh, just I wait. All right. Um, I don't. I mean, I guess we'll just go. I always wonder if there's like something I should do when I'm here, but I don't think there really is. I've already logged everything I've looked at, I suppose. Uh, okay. Edward Man, hello. <laughs> Samuel Jackson was decrypting the know my text. Uh, Alright, so I definitely want to go back to. The hourglass twins, yeah. <laughs> that would be really funny. Oh, interesting. So they're not pouring sand into each other yet. Is this where I started? I think it is. Interesting to see how different each playthrough is. The last uh, person you watched didn't figure out the warp platforms until about the sixth stream. Yeah, I got a little lucky with the platforms because I fell into the the black hole pretty early. Um, and then there's just like a platform there and it tells you how they work. So, I guess I'm just going to retrace my steps a little bit and just uh, skip the extra stuff because I've already read the text. Uh, follow this one. But I'm starting from the other end. What do I think of the Nomai so far? It it seems like they are digging into dangerous research, I assume out of necessity. The sand has started, yeah. That's why I paused. Um, you're in the UK. It's super late, but <laughs> you don't care. Feel ya, feel ya. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks for jumping in, even though it's so late. Oh, 
walk forward until you meet a sandfall pit, turn left, and then go up through the thing. I remember. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize how time-sensitive this area is. Uh, although I guess both planets were extremely time-sensitive. Um, except not the first one that I went to. The, um, the first one I went to was Giant's Deep. That one didn't seem to have any weird time-sensitive things. Uh, I'm gonna go across the bridge. Follow the tunnel of the sand. You've got to go. Yeah, thank you so much for uh, stopping in and saying hi. I hope you have a, a great rest of your night. We went this way. I really want to get down here and s see those angler fish. Oh wow, look at how much more uh, space I've got. Oops, oh no, down, down, down. Okay. Let's just go as far down as we can. Oh my gosh, it's all ready. Can I- do I even have time? Yeah, this area is huge. This is so spooky. Hey, RP. Oh my god, was this just a dead end? Oh, I'm gonna die in here. I'm so dead. Oh, this sucks. Oh. Giant's Deep isn't exactly time sensitive, it's just extremely death warranting because of the whole strong gravity situation. Yeah. How are you doing, RP? Yep, you're right. I got squished. Alright, well I guess we'll just go back. <laughs> you think you're just about to finish the game? Cool. I'm still working it out. That noise was gross. No kidding. Um, I don't even think I, I read anything there, so... I can't even, uh... so fast. Oh gosh. Went right past it. Was trying to be fast. Was too fast. Oh god, I'm gonna go into the sun. Oh no! <laughs> that was bound to happen eventually. Gotta take my time. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was the shortest one yet. The moment, the moment I knew I fucked up. Yep. <laughs> All right. Okay. I just like to imagine that, like that was my my first time that everybody was seeing me go into space because it always is the first time, and they just see me get into the rocket and fling myself into the sun. No turning back. My poor coach must be so disappointed. Uh, definitely didn't learn anything. Alright. Sun, where are you at? You'd think I would know where the orientation was at this point. I did highlight the... Where they be? There they are. need to repair it, we just need to land it where it's supposed to be. That's the first time I've, like, crashed the ship into something other than the sun. Oh, that's new. I just kind of want to go back to... Is it... Yeah, whatever, it's fine. about to say how impressed you were that I was flying manually. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> oh, this, the, this stuff has already started. Oh, crap. So there's an autopilot? dirty. Still airborne. The path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know. Alright, so I'm not gonna go to that lowest cavern again, and not just because I'm running late. I actually refill my oxygen while I'm in here. Good. Let's turn on all the lights. Alright. 
Um, wow, there's no sand in here yet. I don't want to go to the lowest one, though, because I'm afraid. I don't want to get squished again. Let's do this one. What's in here, too? Man, the, sun, the sand is so unnerving now. Before it was like a cool sound effect, and now I'm just like stressed by it. Stepping stone cave. Yeah, being the operative word here, yeah. There's something down there. That's just a pipe. Yeah, there the sand comes. There we go. It's my time flown away. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. It's like certain death in. playing the fossil fish game tonight. I fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to Stepping Stone Cave, the entrance to the fossil fish cave is easy to see now. Gratitude, uh, Solon. It is good to know you're small enough to climb in through the hole of the angler fish outlook. It's still small enough. You won't be for long, Mom and Dad are tall, so you and I will be tall too. You really have to wonder how the Nomai actually lived here however many years ago. I won't say how many, um, with all the sand flowing back and forth between the twins every day. Yeah. Interesting. This took me further up. Every 20 minutes, your entire city is buried in sand. Yeah, so we came here. But we can't get in there. Oh, this was like how we got in. This is just another path that goes to the other entrances. We're meeting at the Fossil Fish Cave to play a game. If you're too big to climb through the hole, you'll have to go the long way, but it isn't far. Go to the Stepping Stone Cave and then up into the Fossil Fish Cave. Stepping Stone Cave. I tried to get in get to the fossil fish cave through the stepping stone cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Remember to feed the fossil fish first. If you go through the angler fish, I'll look, throw a light into his mouth. He'll show you the way. Uh, target can't fit through the angler fish overlook hole anymore because he grew bigger. He's taller than Levi now. Who cares? Enix is still the tallest. Stepping stone cave first. I'm going to check which one that is, but I'm going to have to get out of here. Man, every time I go to a new planet, I'm like, this is my favorite one. <laughs> Which 
which one is the cave. totally gonna get squished. The twins are your fave. Oh yeah. Oh. I'm definitely gonna get squished, but that's alright. I kind of learned what I needed to learn. I don't think I have the light in the thing's mouth. I know I threw it in there earlier. The question is, like, why... Why leave? Like, why not just, like, commit to dying in here, I guess? Because getting out... I'm just gonna time out anyways, like... I'm almost out of fuel. Nihilism has set in. <laughs> is this where I died the first time? I think it is. I think this is where I died. Oh, hell yeah! Fuel level critical. I don't care. I made it out. In well, I made it into here. I made it into the angler fish room. Are those the dead kids? I hate this. Whoever it was when we ended it uh, last time is the anglerfish. Whoever was it when we ended. Rule change. The anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against the wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across to the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. The last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold and becomes a little fish. Kill yourself, there's nothing left to look for. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I did notice that too, that the writing style is, is different. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pi says real anglerfish are blind, so they have to wear a blindfold. That's the rule. Rule update. It's okay if younger kids don't wear a blindfold when they're it. The rest of us still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. What? Can I make it out? Oh, yeah. Almost. You were, it was super upsetting when you noticed that, because you realized how young they were. Yeah. Anglerfish study. The long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it used to use this growth to attract prey, allure. 
An update. Uh, while I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They've added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful! The anglerfish's uh, digestive tract suggests death by starvation. Visually, the specimen appears to be of the same species as anglerfish in Dark Bramble. We don't believe it originated from this planet. I'm entirely delighted. It's never too early to appreciate biology. Dark Bramble, okay. <laughs> Finding Nemo, yeah. Hey, we're out! We didn't die to getting squished. Although I have no gravity whatsoever. Okay. But my ship... I think my ship's just far away. Fuel depleted. Alright. We're screwed. Using oxygen as propellant? Why didn't I notice that sooner? That's so terrible. <laughs> uh, Alright. This might be the suffocation run. Oh hey, some stairs. How convenient. make it back to my ship. Can I get up to it? We still can't go in there. Oh my god, we got to the ship! It's wild. Alright. My my damaged ship. There is an autopilot. Yeah. How did you die? How didn't I die? Let me tell you. Oops. Is that the sand? It's buried in sand. Uh, let's fuck up. I don't have very much time. I could use this opportunity to try to go to the the little station that I've seen. Oops. Oh, maybe it's just, uh, buried now, but there was a little station that was floating around.
my god. Even like says it right there. I just wasn't paying attention to it. Although I kind of like flying. I don't know. No, that's okay. I mean, if it's something like that that's like right there. Oh god. Oh god. So fast. Um. Uh. Yeah, something that's like on the screen right there and I just like haven't noticed it, it's not a big deal. Movie time? Sounds good, have fun. Have I noticed the stars? Nothing in particular yet. Oh. I'm guessing that the ship's gonna fly away. Maybe not. Yeah, let me figure it out. Um, Is this, uh... There it is. Just kinda wanted to check out what that comet was. Yep, there it is. Oh, I think that was a good amount of exploration for me tonight. Because um, I learned a lot, and I went to a lot of places. I am very... Um, I'm, I am very into this game. More so than I thought I'd be. Um, it's definitely got me thinking and um, asking a lot more questions about the universe and how the universe functions or doesn't in this case. So I'm excited to come back to this um, in the next couple of days. So if you've been hanging out and you've been enjoying the stream, uh, I'd appreciate if you gave a follow if you wanted to catch the next one. Um, but for now, let's raid someone Scratches a similar itch to mist for you. Yeah, I can see that for sure. Definitely. Cool. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Let's see who we can raid. <laughs> 